nice little spot, pretty out of the wind here. It's been pretty blowy out on the beach but here. Not too bad. Tent hardly been moving. Packing up this morning, heading into Lakeville National Park and then on to Bathurst Bay or Prince of Charlotte Bay, wherever we end up camping in there. Hi. Cooking pancakes for breakfast. Isaac's been smashing nuts. Ah, my nuts! That one's a bit broken, but that's okay. That's okay. Apparently there was a pig in here the other night feasting on all the nuts that the kids have been smashing up. And uh, up now, they can't eat the pig they because they're in a, a jar. You got them all locked up, do you? Wow, coconut jar. Open it up again, Emily. Wow, well, you guys have been busy.
No. I wouldn't even follow the wheel tracks oh, just yep. around to the right there. Wow, nothing here. Dry as a bone. Could I have pork for dinner? Pork, 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 pork. Oh, a great crossing there. Do you think the rock girls would have been there? Looks rocky on the bottom. Yeah, it yeah. sure is. Let's go out first. Lakefield, Saltwater Creek. We got in late last night. Oh, not that late, I suppose, really. It's about seven o'clock when we got here. Big day driving from Chili Beach. Got this place to ourselves. Did see a bit of wildlife on the way, lots and lots of wallabies, which we haven't seen too many wallabies. We saw three dingoes and we saw at least a couple of owls. No closer than that, Isaac. So this is, if I didn't just say, Saltwater Creek camping area. This is Saltwater Creek. Has, has crocodiles in there, but we haven't seen any yet. So this was really just an overnight camp for us, heading into Bathurst Heads today. Bathurst Bay. Bathurst Bay, Bathurst Heads, Princess Charlotte Bay, all of that. Hoping to find a natural spring so that we can have a bit of a wash. There's heaps and heaps of bugs here last night when we got here, so we actually had to eat in the tent, cook in the tent. So we're pretty happy we've got the big tent. Yeah, Dad, what would have happened if you had that little pop up tent? That's exactly why we didn't go with the little pop up tents, because as convenient as they'd be for a quick setup and pack up. It's not that bad, that tent. No, it doesn't take us that long. And if we do need a cook in there, it's pretty handy. It's pack up time. Let's get stuck in. It's about half past eight in the morning, I reckon. Done breakfast. I can't hear you, huh? Are you talking to yourself? No, I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to the future me. Either, historical site. 
would have been an interesting place to live, I'd imagine. It was someone's home a long time ago. It would actually be a pretty good home. Do you reckon it's been remade? Mm, it's probably had some help along the way. Dad, cause um. Run out too. Because I thought it was gonna fall on us. Dad, three. I thought it was gonna fall on me. But then I'm like, oh, that's just mum. Cal Power Crossing, here we come. Recent crocodile sighting in this area. Heads. It's just getting a little bit interesting here. We can go out on the uh, salt plains or the clay pans, but we're going to choose a bit more of a rocky line.
camp at Princess Charlotte Bay. Nice little fire there last night, cooked up a lasagna. It's very nice. Catching a bit of sun. We're having an area whether we'd spend the one night or the two nights here. We've decided we are going to pack up today and go. We're hoping we we're going to find a uh, freshwater spring out here with a bath and a water tank that you can actually take a dip in. But it's over the hill over here and it's been blocked off. There's no real access to it. There's been another track made but it's pretty dodgy and clearly not meant to drive it so we won't. But the beach is really nice. We did find another little freshwater spring but it wasn't really as good.